What's up guys, back again. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Ramiz. I'm a board certified internal medicine physician, currently back in training. I'm currently a second year radiology resident. If you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. So as a radiology resident, there's two main areas where you spend most of your time. One is here, which is in the reading room, and the other, the other is the interventional radiology suite, which is essentially the operating room for interventional radiology. So today I figured, you know what, why don't I take you back there and show you what it's like to be at the interventional radiology suite. So come along with me. So first things first, before we get to the actual interventional radiology suite, which is back there, you have to get stay protected. So essentially we work a lot with radiation. So the first thing you have to do is find lead, put on your lead. This lead basically consists of two main parts. One is a vest, which goes over and has a thyroid shield attached to it. So that's good for your chest as well as your neck. And then you have a skirt portion, which kind of hangs from your waist all the way down to just above your knees. And, be, and from, with the combination of both of those, you're pretty much protected against radiation. We also wear leaded glasses to protect our eyes as well. Once you've thrown on the lead, then you make your way right here. Interventional radiology control room, which is essentially our suite, which is essentially our operating room. Now, in this particular IR station, we have two main rooms, which are right here. This is where the patients enter from when we take them in for a procedure. This is the actual main control room, and this is where we're gonna enter from. All right, first things first. Here we are. This is the main control center, and as you can see, we have one IR room there and one IR room here. Usually, we have two rooms running at the same time. Now, this, these stations here, are where the staff sits. The staff is essentially responsible for looking at the, some of the imaging that's happening real time in the rooms. They're monitoring patient vitals and also just a whole lot of other paperwork and administrative roles that goes on over here. Also, if someone else is doing a case and you're over here just observing, you know, there's, there's a big glass window for both, for both rooms and you get to watch the case from there and then any real time images that are being acquired or that are being taken for the case are all going to be projected here. So this is a very, very important area here. Um, also in particular that's important when you're back here is that whatever case you do, I like to keep the, the documentation, the consents on the table that's corresponding to whoever's, which, whichever patient's inside of the room. So all the documentation is usually here. I also like on one of these screens, I pull up prior imaging which may be relevant. Let's say we're doing like a biopsy of a lung mass. I usually pull up the most recent CT or PET CT to kind of give us an idea of where the lung mass is. So any relevant finding or relevant imaging, I usually pull it up on each side for, for the patient going in. All right, so let's back it up a little bit. So as soon as you walk in, you see this right here, and this is our scrub sink. And essentially what this is, just like for any other traditional operating room, you have to make sure you scrub in. Many times when we do vascular cases, anytime we gain vascular access, you want to make sure to minimize the risk of infection. One way to do, to do that is to scrub. So we have easy scrub solution right there. You come over here, typical style, you know, it has a sensor to it. You scrub your hands, fingernails, all the way up into your elbows. Usually the first scrub of the day, I usually take my time, four to five minutes. After that, every subsequent scrub is usually a lot faster. And we also have this solution over here, this Avogard solution. Once you have done one very nice scrub early on, which I usually like to do in the morning, you can pretty much kind of get away with just using Avogard after that, um, as long as you're kind of in the vicinity and stay as sterile as possible. But this is the main scrub station. Once you're finished with the scrub, that's when you enter this way here, and this gives us entrance into the main IR suite on this side here. So here we are. So welcome to the IR suite, which is essentially the operating room for an interventional radiologist. So as you can see, a lot of technology, a lot of stuff going on here. So let's start right here on this side. Now this is one of the main workhorses for interventional radiology. This is the ultrasound machine. We use this to gain vascular access as well as gaining access into various organs. We do a lot of procedures percutaneously, which means we do them outside via the skin. We access the gallbladder, we access the liver, we access multitude of other organs via that. And the way that we do it is using the ultrasound. So this is a very important skill to have as your radiology resident. As you rotate through the ultrasound rotation, 
you should try your best to get as much hands-on exposure with the ultrasound as you can because as an interventional radiologist you need to develop the skill of using the ultrasound probe in one hand and a needle in the other hand and you have to be able to localize your needle with the ultrasound probe that's a very important skill as an interventional radiologist now moving on here this is the main table this is where the patient lays for the procedure as you can see it's a pretty narrow table it's so that you can get as close as possible to the patient while you're doing the procedure it's easier for you um, we strap the patients onto the table usually to to make sure that they're safe these are all the controls so we're able to manipulate the table just as we need uh, to make it more comfortable for us to do the procedure now this right here is a giant screen and this screen is extremely important this displays images. Not only prior imaging can be displayed here, but also the real-time x-rays that we take during the procedure. Remember, interventional radiology does everything via imaging guidance. That's what separates us from other, other physicians. We, we're able to do massively invasive procedures in very minimally invasive ways. And the way that we do it is we use our skills as radiologists to use imaging guidance. So moving along this way, this is the C-arm. This is basically our fluoroscopy machine. What, what that means is this is real-time x-ray. So basically, this, this thing moves and can be adjusted. This table moves up, so we get the perfect area right here to cover the area that we're looking for. We can adjust, this whole thing moves up and down. It's, it's a very, very fancy uh, apparatus here. And we have these foot pedals here. So essentially what we do is as we're doing the procedure, we hit the pedal. When we hit the pedal, we get a real-time image displaying right there on that screen. And we are able to do the procedure. And this is the, our real-time x-ray machine. This is one of the main reasons why we wear lead. And so much lead is we just try to keep ourselves protected because we get exposed more than normal given the fact that we're doing procedures every single day. Right here we have some equipment to monitor the vitals. So usually the staff that's in the IR suite, we have IR techs that come up and set up the equipment. Then after that, we have nurses and IR techs in the room to kind of help with positioning of the table and any other issues that may come up. This area right here, which is near the head of the bed, as you can see, this is a very important area. This is where anesthesia is. A lot of the times we do, the, we do procedures under local anesthesia, which is stuff that we administer uh, right there percutaneously, but then we also give moderate sedation. That's why we have nurses here to monitor. And then when we use a little bit more uh, powerful sedation, or sedatives, that's when we have anesthesia. So this is the anesthesia cart. They have everything that they need, medicines, different various airways, and supplies. Everything potentially that an anesthesiologist could need to make sure that our patients are safe, we have it right here. Anesthesia usually stays at the head of the bed. Now, behind these closets right here, this is where we keep mo most of our supplies. So we have various different catheters, various different tubes, and all kinds of different drainage devices, as you can see right there. We keep all our supplies here. So anytime we need, we need supplies and we ask the techs and we're able to get any of the supplies that we need to do our procedure effectively. Now this is our main table. Usually this table is set up with all our surgical equipment, drapes, syringes, everything like that. This is an acrylic shield. This gives us an added level of protection so you can stand behind that. That'll protect you from the radiation. Here's another side table. Sometimes when we're doing you know, smaller scale procedures, we have syringes, lidocaine, things like that set up right here. Here's another angle of our real-time fluoroscopy machine. And here's another, here's another look at the table. And then right here behind me, again, more various different types of supplies. I think this has some of our surgical gloves and whatnot. So we have all these supplies here. And the other thing that's different about being in interventional radiology compared to being in the traditional operating room, in the operating room, you have a scrub nurse who handles all the equipment, hands you whatever you need, and stuff like that. Usually in interventional radiology, you don't have that. Everything is set up initially, but then everything onwards is all you and your assistant, which is usually another doctor or resident. So as a resident, you have to be kind of good at knowing all the equipment. You have to have the things ready before the attending even knows that he needs something. You should just have the next step ready uh, so that as soon as he needs it or she needs it, you're able to hand it right off. So you have to be extra familiar with the equipment because there isn't a scrub nurse who's going to hand you any equipment. You're going to be the one doing everything. So that's a little bit of a difference here. 
But other than that, here we have it. Essentially, this is the workhorse of interventional radiology. This is where all the magic happens. So let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. If you've ever seen an IR suite before, are you even familiar with what interventional radiology really is? You know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me your thoughts down below. And until next time, I'll catch you again later.